Greetings and welcome back to Scarlet Tower. I'm Catherine of Sky and we are going to make another run because I want to. We had a lot of gold last run. <laughs> Crazy amounts of gold. Um, so we were playing Allure. I really like Allure's passives. It's fun. It's pretty great. Don't know what gets upgraded. Probably the damage, I'm guessing. Uh, it is very powerful. Uh, let's see what we got, though, in talents, if we want to upgrade anything here. Go ahead and unlock this one. Let's see. Increases your gathering range for every 10% health lost. Interesting. Gain 5% XP per rank. Oh, 500 kills, you get healed by 50. That's pretty nice, actually. I think we're going to try the XP, though. Let's go with this. Um, what do we do? Yeah, we don't want to upgrade that one anymore. That's a dangerous one to upgrade. Uh, let's get, let's get up to XP and see how well we can... Because I think if we start getting to the end of the game and we are at max uh, of stuff, then we are going to be in a really good position to get, like, extra gold and extra other stuff as well. Okay, so, yeah, someone lost in the woods at nighttime. I think we were there, but we didn't get it. Didn't get it. Tentacles, relics, uh, maps. Yeah, we just need to find that person in the woods. I think we got there. We didn't quite get there. All right, I'm going to go. Sorry, the music has gone off. It basically, anytime I switch out tabs, but I needed to see this image again of the um, fusions because I forgot. So let's see, we still have a lot. Oh, power ups. Let's look at power ups. I really want to get crit damage. That's super important. 50% plus 50% crit, crit damage. Let's get cooldown maxed. Wow, plus 15%. That's awesome. Gathering range, also super important. Twice as much of that. Attack speed, we have no idea what that is, actually. Move speed, I think, is also important. Armor, I think, also. And we have no more money. Oh, we can get attack speed, whatever that is. Does it say the delay between main weapon attacks. So I guess main weapon doesn't follow cooldown? What's cooldown? Decreases the cooldown between use of collected weapons. Ah, okay, so attack speed is basically pretty useful, uh, but it only affects the main weapon. Okay, that's interesting. So humans, um, I guess we can... I think we wait on that. I kind of want to get more talents unlocked. So let's... Oh, whoops. Whoops. All right, let's choose Allure. My favorite map. The map. Let's go. All right, let's go. So that's pretty useful, actually. Remember, we have that 25% XP thing. That's pretty nice. Also want to increase our luck here, so we'll make sure that we get plenty of... Oh. Increases damage. That's beautiful, actually. Let's get that. So we're looking for fire and frost. Um, and then our other one is glacial. Fire, frost, and glacial are our favorites to start off with. Uh, to get those um, thingy thingies. Greed. Yes. Greed is also pretty good. I wonder if greed applies to, like, those treasure chests that you pick up. I bet it does. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe when you collect it or something. Okay, fire. Frost scythe? No, we don't need that. We don't need that. We're very specific about what we want and what we need. We know what we want and need. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to try to make our way down to the left. See if maybe we can Let's kind of make a general beeline that way. I mean, if, if we're getting all of this slowness of enemies anyway, might as well. Corruption crown, eh. Let's take the frost staff. Oh, we picked up that green thing. That's nice. Okay, frost staff. There we go. There we go. Very nice. Okay. 
Yeah, right now, there's so few enemies. There's no need to do the circling technique that we've been doing before. So I'm hoping that we are actually making progress on this map and that that, that whatever it is doesn't spawn like X amount of distance away. That it is actually on the map that we are on physically in a spot. There we go. Okay. Greed is good. I think we're gonna go greed because just money. We are greedy here. Nice big group of enemies here. We can farm for a little bit of XP there. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. Okay, greed. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay. There's that attack speed again. It's so weird because like, I, I don't like that there are two separate things for that. Um, also, we'll take the Holy Bible because that is something that we were looking for last time and we never got it. That was a bit frustrating. I don't want to like re-roll it right now. That doesn't seem right. Okay, Lucky Charm. Let's take that. Actually, I shouldn't take... Well, no, Lucky Charm is, is on high priority, I think, because of the way the game works and we're not guaranteed drops from different uh, things. I'm going to go get that big XP chunk crystal. See, the power gauntlet is good that ends up giving us i think 50 percent extra damage which is very nice for when we get to the bosses and mini bosses i think but it's almost necessary because of the vast hp pools that all of those have um fancy feet let's take that as well that gives us movement speed of course now we have much better movement speed than because we have upgraded our movement speed as well Okay, greed. Geez, I probably shouldn't take the greed. I should probably just upgrade the weapons. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, don't want the slimes. Glacial is what we want. Yes, okay. Didn't even have to look. I knew we needed that one. Okay, let's see if we can kill some of these uh, thingies. Okay, let's go and grab some of this XP while we're here. Uh, charm, lucky charm. Of course, of course. Help, 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 help. There we go. We have a tiny little break in the, in the wall there. Yep, lucky charm is definitely needed, wanted there. Frost Staff, definitely. I'm trying to get that upgraded so that we can evolve it or fuse it with the Flame Staff. That's super nice. I'm hoping that this game eventually gets something like Vampire Survivors has, is the whole, you know, like directory of what to fuse with what. Uh, because, um,. Memorizing all of them was was a task in, in Vampire Survivors for sure. I mean, I did it because I really loved the game and, you know, it's pain if you you have to look something up every time. So having it memorized was very convenient for me to, to do. Um, but I hope, like, trying to memorize for every game is a bit annoying. So I hope that they, they do that. I was like, what is that little thing? It's the Bible. <laughs> it doesn't look like a Bible. I have to say, it's like a little... Everything in this, this game looks like uh, fireworks, I have to say. Everything looks like fireworks. Not a bad thing. It's just very shiny. <laughs> like, the, the Bible doesn't look like a Bible. It looks like a little sprite or something. Like a, a wisp. Or something like that. Okay. 
Okay, uh, Lucky Charm is the best choice there, I feel. Just go back and get some of that money, and also the XP here. Oh my god, there's another pool again. Help! Help! Things keep leaving too much loot! A okay, Frost Staff. Oh, I should have taken the Crit Ring. Oh well, it's okay. It will be fine. It will be fine. Oh, there's an enemy. That is... Oh! Whoops! Jeez, I was like, oh, there's a pretty circle around me! <laughs> I wonder what that means! <laughs> okay. Greed there. Okay, and the enemy exploded into loot. Hooray. Hooray. Uh, iron armor. Yeah, we'll take that. Thunderstaff. I don't want that, and I don't want the knife. I really like that you can choose to not take certain things. I mean, they are kind of forcing it on you, so I'm happy that you get the choice of it. Because I know Vampire Survivors only gives you what you have, um, and Spellbook Demon Slayers only gives you weapons that you have, and it doesn't give you passives. Which makes for kind of interesting choices in the game. Kind of encourages you to choose things very carefully, I should say. Oh, god. Wow, I got stuck there. Um, frost Staff. We'll take that because we want to evolve stuff. The Frost Staff is the key to two different uh, fusions. Let's go back and get some of this stuff. I really would like to go and get one of those nice green things that kind of gives you all the stuff on the map hellfire staff that's part of the fusion we want even though we don't like the hellfire staff at all uh it is a fusion that we will want so let's go down here and get that chest alas it is beyond the barrier okay well we'll try to get that sorted out where's the other one Okay. Wait a second. Didn't we get iron armor last time? Very confused by that. Okay, where did the other chest go? It's in here. Okay, let's go. Crit chance. That is important. Oh, there it is. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Wow, there was so many died. So many enemies died there and left this puddle of loot. I couldn't uh, pass it up. Okay, glacial staff. There we go. Okay, there we go. Nice. Uh, fire staff also needed. I want to get that uh, as one of the first evolves. Obviously, the water, water staff. That is super, super nice. I, I think it's the only legendary uh, weapon in the game that I've seen, or at least the only one with a gold border that I've seen. And it is top tier. That's for sure. It does a lot of damage, like many times the damage of other weapons, even despite not being around for, you know, the entire playthrough. Obviously, it's an evolved weapon, so it's only there for part of the time. Okay. Hopefully gonna get to that. I hope that thing spawns, because I don't know if it's, like, only at night, or I think it might be only at night. I think it might be the lost person that we're looking for. Also, I think we're able to do this, this walking thing a lot better because I did get that XP bonus. Because if we didn't have that, we'd be, I think, a lot uh, weaker in terms of items and stuff and, and uh, upgrades, upgrade cards. They kind of look like cards. Guess we do, let's do crit chance. 
getting crit up ASAP is nice. Really helps kill kind of everything. Very everything. Oh wow, I just killed a whole bunch of enemies in a pool of loot there. Or they gave us a pool of loot, I should say. They devolved into a pool of loot. Crit chance, okay. There we go. Okay. Could have sworn that that thing came to me in the daytime though before. But maybe I'm misremembering, I don't know. I feel like it did. I, remember, I thought we, we did one run where it was like very during the daytime. Anyway, it's okay. We will figure it out, I guess. See if that marker spawns at night. Oopsies. Okay, a little bit too close there. So much nice farm here. It's weird because I am not seeing those those copses of trees and uh, are surrounding the the little glades. You know where there's like all these different kind of like environmental effects inside. I don't know if we're on the wrong like something or what I don't know okay night times here now is that thing there no no the marker is not there anymore oh no oh that's annoying or it, it isn't there do we I guess we don't know we don't have to defeat the vomiter or the puker I guess they're called to get it to spawn. Why isn't it there though? Hmm. Does it only come up sometimes, I wonder? Or are we just or is it a is it a glitch? I I think that that's the the lost person in the woods we're supposed to find. But increase that's nice what level are we 38 okay wow there's so much stuff to pick up here Okay. So we take this. There we go. Oh, dual katanas. Yes. Oh, there it is. Look, the marker is there. Oh, the marker is there. Oh my god. When did it appear? Maybe it's after a certain amount of time or something that it appears? Wait, it's way... Oh! oh. Never mind, it's a regular chest. <laughs> Blizzard wand! Yes, let's take it. Oh, water staff. Wait. 
Why is a water staff not having a gold border? Blizzard wand. Okay, thank you. Oh, and we get this. Why does this give me another... Does it start at rank zero or something? Is that a bug? Because I just chose the blizzard staff. Oh no, it gave me... It gave me a second pip on the thing. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost died there. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Yeah, I don't see a marker. Uh, a, an arrow. For anything there. Increases damage by 50. Yeah, we'll take that. Seems good. Seems legit. It's a big... XP thingy over there. I haven't really been finding any of these environmental thingies at all. Like, last run was chock full of them. And this one is not. Definitely not. Um, I think I would like to... Uh, maybe... I think I want to take the... Fra um glacial staff again if we get one. Oh, there is the puker oh, we've already done a lot of damage to him already pretty impressive Frost and Ivy. Hmm. Guess the Ivy was okay because you could... I'll take the Ivy, actually. We could get three of them up. And it did actually reasonably good damage. I was really surprised, as I recall, about the damage that the Ivy staff did. Dude, if you do a little bit less, I don't know, be a little bit less dramatic, you'd probably, you know, make friends better with people, you know, a tiny bit less dramatic. I guess, I guess it doesn't help that your, your parents named you Puker, but hmm, still, still. Okay, Hellfire Staff, oh, Katana, increases damage by 45, that is crazy much. That's a lot. This is damaged by plus 100. Holy fuzzy cats. Dang, that's a lot. That's a lot. And then you get your crits, and then you get your damage boost, and all the things and all the stuff. That's a lot. I forgot what level we generally stop earning upgrades. Of course, it's kind of variable because you do get these chests which contain a varying amount of items. Okay. Huh? It's weird. I thought I already had the water stuff. Pretty sure I chose the water staff. Now it's at two pips. I, that's weird. I don't know. Mm -mm. 
Maybe I missed that. I thought we already had it upgraded. Water staff. Maybe it was some other weapon that we got to higher level or something. I don't know. Let's go, enemies. Let's -a go. Dual katanas. Let's go. I feel like attack speed is kind of an iffy stat to get as a as an item in the run. I mean, as an upgrade, it's great, but like. As in the run, because like you have what five weapons that work on cooldown and one weapon that works on attack speed. I mean, granted, it is a very good weapon, but still. Wow. Bounce through 40 enemies. Oh my god. That's a tiny bit nuts. Seems great. Seems great. Okay, Hellfire. That way we can get the fusion of that one in the Bible. And get the the last fusion that we've gotten. Or I mean that is uh, left to get for us. And I'm really disappointed that we didn't get that uh, that pointer in the woods. Okay, it's this way. Okay, this one. Underworld Tome increases damage by plus 100. Wow. They also seem to be quite stationary, these books now. They also disappear. I wonder if that's normal. Or if they will resume their orbit. I'd really like to find some of those environmental thingies, but it seems like this environment just doesn't have any. Wow, increases damage by another hundred. Well then. That's a bit nuts. Let's see, what is the other? The other one is if we get the Thunder Staff. That one is another fusion that we can get. I guess we should have taken that one then. Um, but we can get a free uh, fusion with that as well. The Thunder Staff. But I don't see the books reappearing. That's a little bit annoying. Where are they? Where did they go? Yeah, there's like no books. Oh, there's the death. There's death. Oh boy. Oh, death is cheating. Well. What would you expect, right? Oh my god, wow. Uh, I'm dead. Damn. That was bad. Hmm. I got stuck on a tree there, but yeah, it was bad. Just bad. So, dual katanas actually did a lot of damage. Lots of damage. The Underworld Tome did a little bit, but I, I honestly didn't see it respawn. I thought after it, like, after we transitioned from the other one, we just didn't see it again. So that was not good. Blizzard Wand did a lot of work, and Water Staff, of course. Alright, um... Let's see, what else can we get here? Oh! Wait, no. I was, I was so excited, I thought we unlocked the second thing from from Allure. <laughs> okay. Um, I think let's look at our power-ups again. So attack speed, we probably want to get this one as up as high as possible. Um, everything else, wow, we've maxed everything here. Then I guess the next one would be move speed. Armor. Oh, we can't armor. Okay, that's fine. 
And then I guess we just do this, right? Do we want to do those or do we have... Wait, let's do this unlock first. Uh, hmm. After taking damage, get healed for 10% of the damage received over 10 seconds. That's actually not bad. Because we get healed for chunks, man. Chunks. Every time you get 1,000 kills, increase your max health by 1. How many 1,000 enemies do we kill, though? I don't remember. It's like 10,000. So that would be like 10. That's not a lot. Oh, hey. Revive. That is worth. Hello? Oh, right-click it. Why don't they just make this a button? Why do I have to right-click this? That doesn't make any sense. Anyway, this seems cool. So let's go to our... I guess that's it. We can't really spend more purple stuff. This one is purple stuff. Ah. This is a glyph and a passive. Ooh. Huh. Min also has a glyph. wonder if it's the same glyph. Like, if I spend it here... No, it doesn't transfer. They can't... Apparently, they don't share glyphs. Hmm. All right, well, we'll have to wait on that. Let's go ahead and just power him up. He is human. That's it. Oh, well, we got it. Reaching 25% health or less, and then they do the thing. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go play. Let's do the next thing. Nice. Okay, fire staff. Yes. Oh. Read it. Sure. That was quick. Let's see, frost. Yeah, we need the frost thingy. Alright, we'll try to go down into the right, or down into the left again. We're seeing a lot more torches, as well as, like, environmental things. So maybe we'll get that thingy. Okay, uh, luck, yes. There are bats living here, that's nice. Get to see some wild animals, that's good. Wild animals are good. I like animals a lot. Uh, dual katanas, yes. Gotta remember to pick up these early game ones because they're very important. Uh, frost. I don't remember if we were allowed to take the Thunder Staff or if we had to wait for a uh, thing for that. Armor, sure. Another one. Wow, they're everywhere here. Didn't find, like, a single one in the last run. Wonder if that's something like... Um... I don't know, the magicalness of the woods or something? As in, if they are insufficiently magical we don't find the lost person with that beacon this is my theory i'm gonna go with it for now <laughs> it's probably completely not that but it's okay we can we can dream that might be oh my god we got many things here uh all right let's look we don't want the corruption robe we don't want gathering range this is fine that's fine and that is fine okay that was a nice chest to get very nice Greed, yes. The Avarice's Touch and the Greed Glove are like... I kind of wish they were named differently. They seem like... Uh, you know, they're both... They To me, they mean the same thing. Like, if you think laterally about stuff, as I often do... Like, I don't think I can even help not thinking laterally. Um, But it's like the same thing exactly. And it makes it really hard for me to remember one from the other.
At least, it seems like always whenever you uh, kill one of these um, lights, they always give you a prize. Look, definitely luck. Want luck, want more items, more drops, more everything. Okay, fire staff, yes. I probably should have taken that one as well. Okay. Oh, wow, walking through iced ones still hurts you? Wow, that's... That doesn't seem fair. That doesn't seem equitable because like if they're frozen they can't chomp at you they can't harm you surely so what, what is the point of freezing they just don't move is that is that because like in vampire survivors they can't hurt you either uh critical chance yes circle around a little bit here. Lucky charm. Lucky charm. Because I think Midas, the story of Midas is the story of greed. So that's kind of like... Then the other one is avarice, which is the same word as greed. So I don't really understand the wording there by the devs. I, I just, I find it to be the, exactly the same thing. It's like you're saying the same exact thing here. So I don't know which one is which. I've kind of tried to memorize it, but it's not good. It's not a good uh, naming of objects. So it looks like we have everything we need except for the Bible. And, well, I don't think I even want the Bible. I think I want to get dual something else. Let's get the upgrades and then we'll get another, maybe another flame wand and another glacial. I think those are nice. Or we get the ivy. That's not bad. The ivy's pretty good. Uh, frost scythe. Oh, actually the frost scythe and the knife are not too bad. Let's get those. That that gives us that little mini explosion. But hopefully it should do a little bit more damage than just the frost scythe itself because of the... Um... Oh, there's a little glade. Anything good in there? No, not really. We'll just ignore it then. If I don't see a little green thing in there, I don't want to go all the way around to to harvest stuff then. Chance. Always want that crit chance if possible. Okay. We want to get these upgraded and evolved before we have our first mini boss encounter and or the uh the puker Ugh. and and death of course we we seem to i feel like we encountered death really early last time um i don't know if that's just me or if it is if it was actually early or what but it just felt like very early so i thought he came at the very end and I know we didn't survive until... Yeah, wait, he does come at the very end, I thought. Okay, remember, you've got to kill it. Frozen ain't good enough. Frozen ain't good enough. Okay, dual katana, of course. All right, when we have an enemy here somewhere... No, oh, there it is. Wow. Did you see we melted, like, half his HP in one go? Holy fuzzy cats. <gasps> no! Oh, I got... God. I hate that. I didn't want that. I really didn't want that. 
That annoys me. I hate this interface where you press escape to accept and there's no like mouse clicking things because escape usually means you get out of it. Not accept. Usually I would accept spacebar as accept. Escape is no. Escape is escape. You know? God, I hate that. That UI choice is so bad. Uh, I'll I'll try to write a note and see if that can be changed because it's just so bad. Like there's no you can't click on it. There's no clicking controls, and and it's just oh it's just bad. It's so anti-logical to wait to the way anything else works. You know, in the game and in real life. You know, in other other games. I hate that I had to take HP. Who needs HP, man? Come on. Like, nobody wants HP. Oh, wow, nice. That's nice. Eager to see if, like, this is gonna work, like going down into the left, or if somehow it's magically not gonna work. I don't know. Okay. Wonder if that gave me gold too, or if it was just XP. I'm kind of curious about that now. The green thing, the vacuum. Didn't look. Should've. Didn't even think about it. I guess I assumed it would do both. This is huge, this area of stuff. Loot puddle. Total loot puddle here. Looks like a lot of loot drop over here. Nice. Oh, nice. I didn't even see that green thing on the ground. I must have just stepped right on it. Okay, armor. 
frost scythe. Okay. Oh god, all these loot puddles. They so attract me. Hmm. They really are very shiny with their gold spinning coins and bright blue XP thingies. Okay, let's go knife there. Nighttime is soon. Okay. Yep. Okay, nighttime has arrived with a weird and creepy howl. And there's no marker. Dang it! That's annoying. So, how am I supposed to find that lost person in the woods if there's no marker? Are you only supposed to get that like every once in a while or something? I feel like I've clicked that frost thing so many times and it hasn't given it to me. Maybe I've just seen it a lot of times and not chosen it. Hmm. I also do not see the enemy that is creating all these puddles of terribleness. Don't see the mini boss. Okay, frost thing. I guess it died. But it didn't leave me not leave me a chest anywhere seems like oh there's one blizzard wand I will take it seems like this run has been really light on chests oh wow okay frost dagger what the heck I just got the blizzard wand in a box and it's now trying to sell it to me. Like, what? I got the blizzard wand in the box. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna report that as a bug. Because it's def- I, I wasn't imagining it before. Because remember I mentioned that in the last run. And it's like, wait, wouldn't- Didn't I get that already? Yeah, I did. I did actually get it already. And it just was not being nice to me. And it bugged out. So I'll report that uh, as a bug, because that's clearly a bug. Nice. Hellfire staff, okay. I guess we'll take it. Did actually give it to me. Hooray! Oh, I didn't want it! Oh no! I forgot I don't want that one. Oh. I was still in other run mentality of trying out the new Necrotome thing. Yeah. Whoops. There's the puker. Again, 
dude. If you'd stop with the drama, I think you'd be a bit more attractive to people. Okay. I guess we take the Bible to evolve that. Wish I would aim it at him. That would be nice. There we go. A little bit better. Better, better. Seems to be aiming at everything but the puker. That's <laughs> so annoying. God. Oh, wow. That was a little bit more than I wanted to get hit by there. Okay. Oh, he died. He is deadified. <sighs> okay. Okay, water staff. I haven't checked if those chests give other stuff, now that I think of it. I just assumed they were being accurate with their accounting, but they might not have been. Blizzard wand. We definitely want to upgrade our super thingies as much as possible here. And also make sure that we have enough crit. Because crit is going to kill the death if we can manage it. Oh boy. Okay. Water staff rank 3. Are we actually getting these items? Rank 1. Growth shield, rank one. Yeah, it looks like we got them. Okay. Looks like it show, was showing us what we had before, and it gave us one. Except for the part where it didn't give us the wand initially. Yeah, that was inconvenient. Very inconvenient. Okay, this... chest down here. Yeah, Frost Dagger would be a nice one, because that one is almost guaranteed to hit death whenever we encounter him. Okay. That's nice. Max rank water staff is perfect. Wow, many, many chests are happening here. Let's see. Let's get 
the armor because I feel like that's important as well. Okay, and HP we're getting as well. That's nice. Okay, that's nice. Another three items. Because now it's a little bit uh, rarer to get upgrades because of the much, much, much need needed XP to get those happening. Oh wait, hello? Are you a person? Did we find a person? She looked like she was friendly. How did we find her in the middle of who knows where? She disappeared though. I hope she's okay. Maybe she's the next character. <gasps> I can't believe I found her. How was that? That was so random. Did we actually find her? Did she, was she, she probably was just spawned in there. Just to make her like, huh, do you see this little hidden where's Waldet where where's Waldet in the woods? Hmm? Yes, I don't know. That one. Just want to get as much blizzard wand. Yes, the blizzard wand is so powerful. Oh, there's death. Hi, death. How you doing? Oh, this is Owie. He is Owie. No, go away. God, he has a thing where he likes to be near me. Oh, I, I can't even see him. It's really difficult to even see this dude. Because that's part of his marketing or something. Stealth death. Dude. Uh, let's go armor. I'm trying to, like, avoid... Avoid stuff and also hit him and... Ooh, that was tasty, I think. Damn, that was unfair, son. Oh, I wish I had wish I had some some lamp posts, food. Oh, there's food. Oh, there's food. Magic food. Kill please death. Death death die 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 please. Oh, <gasps> I killed death. Yes. Er. <laughs> I killed death. Well, you know, I wonder did we did we take here, this is cool. Alright, let's, uh... Wait a second. Survive 2218. Does that mean it doesn't go to a 30 minutes? Huh. That's weird. That's weird. Hellfire staff, even worse than the Bible. Did I not say? That was bad. Um... Water staff, again, the star. Water, um, but... But dual katana, I think taking attack speed might be the way to go with this game. Because, like, that did more damage than the top... Three or four <laughs> together and <laughs> combined. Because we didn't have the cooldown reduction this time. So maybe that's the thing to do, is take attack speed instead of uh, cooldown reduction. So, anyway, okay, also noteworthy, 15,000 enemies slayed approximately, so if it's 1 HP per enemy, you get 15 HP, that's really not a lot. There is the multiplier, I guess 15 times 5 would be, let's see, uh, 60, 75 HP, I guess we have 220 or something, uh, I believe, something like that, so, yeah, you could take that if you wanted to. Uh, but I, eh, mm. I don't think we need it. Cool. We got a hero, though. What did we get? Oh, we got both of these! Oh, <gasps> looks like next episode's gonna be special! Death Scythe main weapon. Drain a target's soul on kill and send it into another's body dealing damage. Wow. Can only happen every one second! Damn! 
That sounds like one of those where you really want to change up your build to do the allies on the field. Okay. For every 10% missing health, two stars fall around dealing area damage. How often does this happen? This must be the gal we found. She looked like a mage. She looks very magey. Yeah. We found her. Find someone lost in the woods at nighttime. That was her. That was her. Okay, and so we defeated death at corruption level one. We happened to get them both at the same time. All right, so that was not very good with money uh, because I think if we had farmed more in the beginning, we would have gotten to the end of the upgrade tree thing and we would have gotten the chests at the end. Uh, but now I think we maybe we try a different build and try this guy with the allies and stuff. So anyway, that was exciting. Thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.